Uh, relations with England will get worse. Okay, I don't think anyone's fussed by that. Relations with France will get worse. Definitely nobody is fussed by that. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out Anvil Saga, where we're going to start up a blacksmithing shop and, well, I, I would assume serve the relatively small percentage of people in a population that need blacksmithing services. I know virtually nothing about the game. It was sent along as a key from the folks over at Anvil Saga, so let me take a quick sec to thank them for that so we can check it out on the channel here. There is, of course, a link to the Steam page down below, so if you want to go check it out for yourself, that's where you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to jump right in. Your guess is as good as mine with Anvil Saga. Well, a little bit of backstory here. It's been about 13 years I've been helping dear old dad over at the blacksmithing shop here, and we're going to start accepting some orders in the town fair. I'm kind of being pushed out on my own by dad. So we've got a couple of merchants showing up. Judging by the look on his face, he's happy with my forging. Yeah, your forging, not mine. I'm brand new at this. Well, brand new. I've been doing it for 13 years, but apparently I'm terrible at it. Okay, Finley would like to order a small trinket for his beloved daughter. Do this for me, would you? It's a piece of cake. I got this. No, I don't, Dad. I'm terrible at these sort of things. Look, I'm wearing a headband. You can't possibly trust anyone with a headband. Monsieur Finley and Mademoiselle Olivia, I'm glad to see you both. Why don't you order the brooch from my father? His shop is just over there. Oh, is this somebody else? Oh, is this like my competitor? Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a smackdown coming. All right, so what have we got here? We've got a brooch that we're supposed to be making. We need two ingots, and we'll get 18 money for that. Well, it's a tutorial quest, so I'm going to go ahead and accept that. You'll have to make a choice that will affect events further in the story. You'll see one of them now. Is it make the brooch or, or not make the brooch? Each option has a chance of success and failure. Study them carefully. You won't be able to go back. Ah. Right. My father brought a jewel for Baron's ring with him. I could probably use it. Gotcha. So we could make just the brooch. We could use the jewel, but guarantee you the Baron's going to show up in the future and go, yo, what's up with my jewel? I was supposed to have a jewel and I don't got no jewel. And that lady with the brooch just walked away with my jewel. Or I could use a fake jewel. I think we're just going to make a simple brooch. Let's not... Let's not annoy the Baron today. So we get a 70% chance. All right, 60% base chance, plus five for skill, plus five for equipment. Let's go ahead and try and make this simple brooch. Okay, how do I do that? Do I click here? Do I click me? Do I click anything? Okay, right click on it, not left click, Dave. So right click, I hop over to the forge here. I start hammering out a brooch. Am I gonna be 70% successful? It's done. Here, it's all done. It's lovely. Well, I mean, it's lovely apart from the lack of jewel on it. Well, Olivia seems pretty pleased with it, so that's good. I'm impressed. I'll gladly pay you extra. Ooh, we got a bonus for that. I can't help but notice these guys coming up behind. Oh, what a surprise. It's the Baron. Well, obviously, we saved the jewel so we could do this, so let's make a jewel-encrusted ring for the Baron. 80% chance of success on that. Oh, I'm already on it. I didn't even need to click on this one. So we're making the ring. It seems to be going fairly well. What else have I got up here? Some wood? Oh, it's gone away. Is it really done? Yeah, it's totally really done. And the, the little, the nice lady here, she didn't get her ring or her brooch with a jewel because you had to have the jewel, but you are the Baron and I fear imprisonment. That's it? Two customers and we're off home? Two customers? And I'm not even sure the Baron paid us. I didn't... I, didn't, I don't know if I was paying attention, because I'm usually not, but I don't think we got any money from the Baron. I think he just walked off with the ring. I I suppose that's one of the things we just turn a blind eye to. I'm glad the lady here paid us. Press the sign to stop customers from coming in. Go away, we're closed. Okay, we're on our own now. That was the only simple tutorial that we're going to get. So can we pause this for a sec, just so I can look at stuff. So I've got money. All right. Uh, popularity. Right, I have zero. I've got ten ingots. Six pieces of ore, no wood, and no logs. And what's going on down here? Read the Anvil Saga. Maybe not today. Open my skills book. I probably don't have any of those either. I've got construction menu. All right, fair enough. Buying things. Hiring. Okay, good. And an order journal. All right, fair enough. Well, let's unpause and then just start with something simple like opening the shop and seeing who comes in and what we might have to do for them. Okay, you look like a likely customer. Can I get a loan? Wait, what? No. No, you absolutely cannot. Uh, can this... Can we move this? Can we move this? I can't see what's on... It's nails, I would assume. So, oh, there we go. Four ingots. 
You want to borrow some nails, is what I'm reading here. And you're going to owe me four. Is this is this appropriate? I've got an I think I've got another customer standing right behind you. You know, no, I, I need those four ingots. I'm I'm really into those four ingots. What do you want? You want whatever that is, two ingots, but you'll pay me. Okay, good. What what is it? It looks like a carburetor. Uh sure, make this. Um how do we can we make this now? Can we just do that? We seem to be doing it. Um oh it's going away. It's it the the lady's gonna the lady's gonna be angry. Oh, don't walk. No, I finished your thing. Okay, you want nails, but you're prepared to pay for them, but it's going by really, really quickly. I got, I'm got. i just going to let that slide. There's no way I can make those nails fast enough. Also, do I now have that thing? Okay, I just quickly accept this. Yeah, go. Hurry. 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 Make a horseshoe, like, really, really fast. This guy's going to be really angry and walk... Okay, there we go. Good, we got something done. Uh, whatever this is, I may or I just barely have the ingots for this. Okay, um, you're gonna have to just hold tight there, Sparky. I gotta go make more things here. So yeah, make um, make things out of ore. Yeah, you can just bugger off. I don't even know what that is. I think it's a ladle. Um, I can't do your thing right now because I'm doing this thing right now. This is this is a little more fast paced than I anticipated. Okay, go, hurry, go, go, go. Uh, quick, go to the thing, go to the thing, go to the thing. Make the carburetor for the lady. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right, hurry with the carburetor. I, I whatever, I'm gonna have you fixed up real, real soon, lady. There you go. Okay, phew, right. Um, you want another carburetor? Uh, sure, absolutely. Make one of those quickly, 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 please. I'm probably losing endurance and stamina and all that kind of stuff. Quickly, quickly, there we go. Um, take your loot, take your carburetor, get out of here. You want a horseshoe? Absolutely, can do. I'm running out of ingots. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's been a very busy day. Send Arthur to the smelter. I did, we did that. Um, I'm sorry, we're closed. We're, we're, no, no, we're closed. Go away. I can't with you right now. All right, so make all the things out of the thing. So, okay, that's down to three, but that bumps up my ingots. And this will be down to two. All right, where do I, well, you saw the buy tab down here. How much money do I have? I've made 220. All right. What can I buy in here? Small crate of ore or a crate of ore or a single piece of ore. Okay, those are 17 for a crate. I should probably just get the crate. Or I can just buy flat out ingots. That's not a bad idea. I mean, they're only 33. Maybe I should get one of each. Okay, I'm going to get one of those and one of those. Uh, is that food? Oh, food for workers. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that right now. Feeding is a luxury around here. Now, I assume there's some sort of delivery process, because I don't have those immediately. Yeah, are you... I don't know what you want. I can actually probably open up a little bit and wait for my delivery to show up, because I've got now six ingots. Sure, go ahead. Open it up. Uh, whatever you need, I'm on it. I'm on it. Again, with the carburetors. Seems to be a lot of automobile problems around here. I'm kind of everybody's triple A. Nope, he went away unsatisfied. Um, sure, do your thing, because you're going to wait a long time. You are extremely patient for this ladle. I'm running out of ore again. Time to dig a shaft. Sooner or later, you'll start expanding your forge, building more rooms, and digging deep into the earth. Each forge needs a constant supply of ore. Okay. Can do, I think. All right, first off, close the shop. We're done for the day. So what's going on in here? Ah, okay. So we could go maybe, that. can we go down one? Oh, oh, here we go. Build a room. Okie doke. Um, well, I can only build here because it's, it's making me build there. Uh, roof type, uh, wall type. Yes, yes to both of those, please. And that's about all I'm going to do. I've got no, oh, my ingots came in and my ore came in. Oh, fantastic. Uh, well, let's just go keep doing things over here. What's going on here? My sharpening skill level. All right, so I want to build that up because right now sharpening is happening 5% slower. My mining skill is down. I'm going to want to get that. Excuse me, who are you? Oh, you are you are you the my construction engineer? Okay, you're building my room. I thought you were a burglar. But it looks like I technically count as a worker, so I am going to need to feed myself occasionally. My energy is going down, but not not radically. I considering I've done a full day's work here. I'm actually not bad at all. What's going on down here? I can't fire myself. Oh, if only. Oh, but my room's done. Okay, so a room that doesn't have a function will remain inactive. Right, guys, so an exclamation mark if it's an inactive room. Press the exclamation mark, designate this as, I would assume, some sort of mining area. So what can we do in here? We could do a living room or a kitchen. All right, I don't really want those. A mine, that's what I want. 
or a warehouse. No, I want a mine. Yeah, mining, please. Oh, I got, I got things to put in there. Actually, do I have things to put in here? Because none of these seem to really apply. A mine entrance. Oh, that's that sounds about right. Uh, do I do I get one of these? Where where would this go? Oh, okay, it can go over here or over here. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there and then kind of hope that's what I wanted to do. I think. Oh no, it needs a crate. I got the mine entrance part right, but I didn't do a crate. Small wooden crate. Okay, so that could just get placed right there. Excellent. All right, get out of all of that. That no no, don't do that thing. That is now, I guess, a mine, a working mine. I don't know what's going to happen in it. What do I do? Like, if I go down here, do I start mining? Yep, I sure do. So I just disappear into a hole, and I'm assuming I'm going to dig out some more. So let me see. I've got three now. What's going to happen when I get to the end of this? How much ore are we getting per cycle? So we come out of the mine, and we dump stuff off in the crate, and what what just happened there? Did I, I was only paying attention to the the ore one. I wasn't looking at ingots. All right, I'm going to really super pay attention this time, I promise. Okay, I got one ore out of that. Uh, no, stop doing that. Just come up here. We're, we're done with that for the day. I also noticed I've blown all of my money. I have absolutely no money. Can you just, can you go up here? Uh, go up here then. Go anywhere. What is this, a kitchen? Go eat something. And I'm out of food. Okay, so uh, food. Can I get something uh, kind of on the cheap here? A little bit of bread. Okay, that's all I can afford right now. Well, I mean, buy it. Don't not buy it. Now I'm basically broke. And I assume we're going to cook up the bread here from our pantry and eat up. Are we going to sit down at the table? No, we're just kind of wandering around. Okay, uh, let's have a nap and start this all over again tomorrow. Okay, open for business. Open for business. I got 20 ingots. That's got to give me a good day's work here. It's hard to work in the forge. No, I can't afford to hire anyone, man. I'm sorry, Mr. Narrator, sir. I cannot afford to hire anyone. Three young men who want to become my apprentices. Um, okay, this is so, like, kind of an internship. And by internship, I mean unpaid internship. And by that, I mean you just basically come in and work for free. And later on, I'll give you a letter of recommendation. No, I am absolutely being forced, forced to choose an apprentice. And I'm choosing Monty because he has a monocle. And that's the only reason I'm choosing him. Uh, relations with England will get worse. Okay, I don't think anyone's fussed by that. Relations with France will get worse. Definitely nobody is fussed by that. And relations with bandits will improve. Well, I think if I'm going to cuddle up to anyone, it's the local bandits. Okay, so we got to build a room for Monty, which is unfortunate because I don't actually have any any room left. There's Monty. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, okay, go go make the thing. Uh, you're a smith. In the name of the majesty, I'm, I'm, it's very busy. I'm authorized to collect the land tax. Okay, so long as the land tax is two, you're good. No, it's twelve. Um, I sure I'll I can't I can't possibly pay that. Uh, now don't try don't even try to hire an apprentice. I I didn't want to do it in the per first place, French person. I'm trying to make a horseshoe for this nice man. Hang on, I think Monty can do some things. No, 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 narrator person. Forge's workers will demand to be paid. Yeah, well, I, we did talk about the unpaid internship or thing, right, Monty? Okay, Monty, I don't know if I paid you or not, but can you work in the forge, please? Because I've got so many things to do around here. And by so many things, I mean I, I need to deal with this person's nonsense. Uh, yes, you're actually going to be reasonably patient about that. Oh, the French are back. Duke Delacorte is very displeased. Yeah, well, I only had two gold, man. What have I done to anger him? Well, it's the, it's the not paying taxes thing. Uh, why aren't you working on our orders? Because you haven't sent me any. All right, the French soldier has threatened me with execution and has wandered off. That's mildly concerning. Uh, Monty, you might be in charge for a while. Just a scoundrel. What, what was that? Is that Robin Hood? Did he steal from somebody? Is he giving it to the poor? Because I'm very poor. Well, I got a simple horseshoe order here. We're back up to 24 gold. I could theoretically pay my taxes. Uh, Monty's not doing anything. Actually, Monty, hang on. Monty. Monty, why don't you go down in the mine? Off you go, kid. Off you go. Have fun with that. Good luck with the mining thing. I'm gonna build a carburetor. Yeah, I don't know what they are either. Oh, I'm supposed to be sending Monty to do this. Okay, Monty, come back out. And then I'll, um, go over here. I'll, I'll come back in. And, and do the mining. Apparently, Monty is supposed to be on this. Uh, so, Monty, yeah, accept that, please. Go over and... 
do this piece of chain for this guy, and then some sort of spearhead for this guy, L line that up for Monty. I'm sure he can cope with this. These guys are being reasonably patient here. Customers from different factions do not like each other. If you make an order for a soldier, knight, or hunter, it'll worsen your reputation with the other. Same applies to witches and monks. Yoki doke I'm, I'm not fussed with the whole faction thing. I'm just trying to make stuff for people. I've got a monk over here. The higher my forge's prestige, the more appealing it'll look to rich clients. Increasing the prestige, upgrading the stall, you can attract money bags who are willing to pay much more for their orders than peasants. Stall upgrades will increase your maximum storage space. Yeah, I'm just really Mr. Narrator doing it. I'm really trying to focus on the whole producing orders thing right now. Let's just... Let's just make it nice and simple and basic, huh? Characters received a new trait. Ah, characters can receive negative and positive. Each affects the character's behavior. Read the... Carefully read the trait descriptions. Not just read it. Carefully read the... Oh, God. You are on the wrong channel for this, narrator. Seriously, narrator, dude, I hired the guy because he has a monocle. That is the level of care that I am attributing to how I am running my blacksmithing shop here. But where... Where are traits? Choose the worker's equipment. Books, wait, books read by the worker? Ah, uh, none at all. Monty, that monocle really isn't working out for you there. Well, I'm not upgrading the stall anytime in the near future. I need fame level of 50 and 200 gold. That's, that's not happening. I'm maxed out at 20 right now. I'm going to have to upgrade my decorations to increase my limit. That I might be able to do something about. Is there... Maybe some decorations that we could put in here. And nothing that we don't already have and nothing that's going to increase my reputation cap there. So I think just back to work for Monty. We'll try and figure out your traits in a bit. Well, it looks like we got a witch over here ordering chains, which seems appropriate. And there's a monk right behind them. I don't think I'm, a, I'm supposed to accept both of their orders. I think this is a terrible idea. I'm not supposed to do this at all. But I just need the money, frankly. As a businessman, I don't want to alienate any of my customers. I want all people to feel welcome here, so they come in and give me their money. And I am running super, super low on ingots and ore. Now, I'm down in the mines doing the very, very best I can there, but... Yeah, I think we got to close for the day. Yeah, I, th I think we're... D no, uh, Monty, can you finish the thing, please? Can you? Are you going to finish the thing? Are you finishing the thing? Where's your little bar that says you're finishing the thing? Monty, are you sad? Are you? No, you're not sad. That's your salary. You've got energy. You've got your health. Hey, Monty, can you finish this? What? What's your deal? Oh, we don't have enough things. Okay, it's five. Oh, this guy's gonna be wicked sad. Yeah, I, I can't take any of your things, dude. Sorry, Mr. Monk, sir. Good luck at the monastery. Well, I'll just have Monty crank out some ingots there, and let's go ahead and. Well, what am I up to? A hundred. Okay, let's buy a few things. So, uh, not that, not that, this. Let's buy one crate of ore. Is that ore or ingots? Yeah, no, one crate of ore and one crate of ingots. Buy those. My money's gone. Okay, my stuff showed up, so I'm going to reopen and start getting some more orders coming in. Um, have, I, have I decided I'm done? Are we done in the mine? Are we coming home? Are we getting something to eat? I think we've only got the one loaf of bread. Now, Monty's complaining about a lack of food, and apparently, according to the narrator here, if they're not fed, they'll starve to death. That is a level of employee loyalty that I have never had nor seen. They won't just leave. Like, I would quit. Like, I'm sorry, there's no food here, and I am really, really hungry. This is not a good place of employment. The break room is terrible, and there are no snacks. I'm going to leave now. But Monty here will sit here and starve to death rather than quit. I like you, kid. You're all right. Well, we're pretty good on the mining bit, so I'm sending myself over to start manning the forge and get some more ingots coming in. Uh, yeah, Monty, do uh, do the ladle for the guy here. I should probably take a nap soon or indeed a eat anything at all. Apparently, I'll starve to death otherwise. So actually, what have I got for ingots? Seven, about to make eight. Uh, Monty, I'm gonna go grab a quick snack. Sorry, it's the only loaf of bread and I'm having it for myself. Now, this guy wants a loan for this. I know, I'm sorry, this is not the way a business works, sir. You just pay me for the thing. And this guy's gonna pay me quite a bit of money, too. And he doesn't want to pay me later. He wants to pay me now. There's no credit here. 
There's absolutely no credit at this business. However, I have had a bite to eat, so let me get back over on the forge here, and Monty, you can totally handle whatever that is. It's our last three ingots, but I'm about to start making more very soon, and I'm pretty sure we're out of food. Yeah, we are, we are indeed out of food. Let's get, uh, three, three luxury pieces of bread right now. That'll feed me and Monty. I know we have no ingots. Uh, this only requires one, though. We can do that. Yeah, no, can't do it, lady. Don't have the ingots for it. Don't have the... And you know what? Just close for right now, Monty. Uh, Monty, why don't you go uh, grab a bite to eat and then take a nap? The bread is here. I know, three loaves of bread, Monty. We're going to be eating like kings. And let me supplement our ingots here with another crate of ingots. Get that. And then I'll go down in the mine tomorrow after Monty's rested up here and get some more ore. Um, actually, we're out of we're out of ore, so I'm going back down in the mines to you know get some more ore. Okay, Monty, you got to get up, man, because I got I got to take a nap. I'm I am just dead tired down here working in the mines. So, uh, Monty, Monty, go go over here. There we go. Go over there. Go deal with the store. I am going to take a quick nap, and by quick I mean most of the rest of the day. I've never seen this merchant in our village before. Uh huh? Go and find out who he is and what he wants. No, Monty's busy. He's got orders to take. So this guy's kind of like a courier here. He'll get stuff from far away and sell it to us for cheap prices. Do we want to work together? I can't see why we wouldn't. Don't even think of refusing. I barely escaped the bandits myself. I think we're pretty good with the bandits. Monty likes bandits. It's the monocle, you see. It makes him look tough. The roads are unsafe. The thieves and bandits gather like vultures. Yes, that's kind of their gig. Should agree I'm the bravest merchant of those prepared to offer services. Talk to me about prices, dude. I don't care about danger. Talk to me about prices. Like, what is your gig opposed to what I'm getting from the local guy? Oh, he wants me to make an order first, though. Okay. You need to craft this, craft this, or craft this. Uh, that? What is that? I don't know what it is. It's a box of nails, I think. And not a very good box of nails, because it's open here. The nails could easily spill out and cause some sort of hazard. Oh, five nails, five horseshoes, five chains. Okay, um, I think we can... Br oh, no, sorry, no, dude, we're closed. Yeah, I, I, got, I got a thing going on here. Um, Monty, you are well-rested. Okay, you could use a bite to eat, but let's, let's get you moving on this. So what's that going to be? That's going to be 10 ingots, and plus 15, 25... And then another, I need 45 ingots to do all of this. Well, we're going to have to place a pretty big order. Now, this is going to blow pretty much all of my money, but I'm going to get one thing of ingots and then one thing of ore and then figure it out from there, largely. How rested am I? Not even a little bit. Not, okay, I got to take a really, Monty, you're on your own for the day. And by on your own, I mean we're done. That That's it. That's all we got right now. Um, oh, the, the ingots showed up, so we can just get a little bit more done, and then I'll send uh, Monty over to the forge. No, no, that's me. No, no, go back to bed, sheep. You're not even close to well-rested. Uh, you go over to the forge and start making all the ore into ingots. So I need another 12, actually 8, to finish this order. And Monty is taking his sweet time there, and we don't actually have even have enough ore. So can I get another thing of ore in here, please? Like, kind of quickly. This guy's being super patient about the order, but that's not going to last forever. In the meantime... What if I, say, went down to the mines for a little bit? Okay, Monty, back on track here. So you're back at the forge, and I'm going to go back on this duty over here and actually make the guy's things, or at least I will when you've made another piece of ore there. Let's speed this up a little bit. That, yep, that gets me enough to do one. Now I just need one more from you, Monty. Just a few more pieces of ingots there, and we're done. Okay, I'm a reliable one. My shop is at your disposal. I have a profitable partnership. Okay, so again, let's talk prices here. What have you got for sale? Can I see that in here? Yep, he's got a whole tab. Antonio's store. There are no unique goods in Antonio's store at the moment. Okay, well that was less exciting than I wanted it to be, Antonio. So what does that leave me with? I've got a good bit of ore left over, not much in the way of ingots. I've got 124 in gold, so let's just get a thing of ingots, just to kind of get us started on the day's business here. I will open up the shop. I am ready for business. Boy, do I need the money. Why would I not sell a fish hook to a witch? Seems like a perfectly sensible way to be spending a Tuesday here. Bandit looks like coming in right behind you. You would like some chains? Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? Got some ingots in stock now. 
Monty is working away at the forge there to get some more going. Uh, so I am very slow at this. Monty is actually way better than I am. Well, we're out of everything, so let's get some orders done here. We've actually got a big crate of ingots. I'm gonna take one of those. Buy those, please. There's all my money gone again. I mean, we're we're stable. We're we always seem to be around a hundred gold here. Um, am I well rested, by the way? I am. Uh, I should go get a quick bite to eat, and then Monty, what could you be doing with your time here? Why don't you? Why don't you have a quick nap? You know what I need is something that holds more ingots. I think I need to upgrade the stall to do that though, because these only hold ore, which is not what I need. Uh, so best move I can probably do is actually just open the shop up and bleed through a few of the ingots. Uh, Monty, how are you doing, kid? You better, yeah, you're fairly well rested. I could pull you out here. Uh, in fact, I should probably do that. Uh, Monty, uh, me, first of all, go, go over here. Uh, sure, accept this dude's thing for this, and I'll get on that, even though Monty's better. Monty, why don't you go mine the ore thing, and um, and by mine, I mean actually forge it into ingots that I can use for something else. Well, Monty and I have been working side by side all day like a couple of champs here, and we finally just got over 207 in between, like, buying new material and whatnot. Oh, also the French came by and shook us down for 14 tax there, but I think we've got enough to finally upgrade the stall, except I don't have fame level 50. Okay, so I need to, I need to make my house bigger and more well decorated and whatnot to get anything at all with more fame. So I don't want to furnish a room, I want to build a room. Build something there. Uh, sure, roofs and walls are excellent. Well, the doctor's here and the doctor's name is, Dr. What? Huh, Dr. What? Low-hanging fruit there, huh? Couldn't couldn't stretch that reference a little more obscurely? How about Dr. Why or Dr. Where? I need your help. The fate of the universe is at stake. It always is, isn't it? Get me a wristband for a time funnel manipulator. Make it a good one. Forget what I just said. Make it from leather. Can I do that? No, I cannot. I have not a strip of leather in this entire place. So um, you'll need to craft this and craft that. Yep. Yeah. I don't have that, I don't think. I'll give it a shot for Doctor What, Where, Why, Certainly When. Ah, and this is where, wow, everything is just popping up right now. This is where Antonio's coming in. Okay, so Antonio has the leather. Okay. Don't really want to pay for it, but there we go. Um, all of you, I'm, this is killing my reputation. Everything's closed. I'm dealing with sci-fi right now. All right, Antonio dropped off the thing. Doctor What is here, and the universe is in danger. I don't understand who's in danger. I don't care either, just as long as you're paying me. Well, he did pay me. Excellent. I don't know what he paid me in. Probably science fiction, time travel -y money or something, but I think that's an excellent place to call it a day on Anvil Saga. I get it. I see what we're trying to do here. We're doing kind of time management-y stuff, and taking orders and fulfilling orders and balancing our reputation and probably the French are going to come and execute me at some point. They they have a tendency to do things like that. Guys, do please let me know what you thought of Anvil Saga in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. But maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse, Cinnamon, huh? It's just basic security technique. If the door is closed, Cinnamon, Cinnamon, the zombies are going to have to work harder to get in. What you've done is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, Hey, zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.